Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for September 3rd to the 15th. First, we're going to talk about dangerous Hurricane Dorian. You see right here, I want to take a look at another thing if I could show you. If you click on here, you can see as the sun's going to the sun angle is um, right about where the top of that pointer is. You can see what they call the stadium effect with the eye wall. So you can see that um, Dorian remains a very healthy hurricane and outflow is good in all quadrants. And we'll take a little closer look in the motion. I gotta pro um, apologize for this um, image. So, um, okay um there's a ridge over the southwest or the four corners area and also the western atlantic and this will help to steer dorian towards the southeast coast or florida to um to be exact and it's forecast continued to intensify as it remains i'm going to take a look at this Let me see if I can get the right map. As it remains in a weak stern uh, current. Now here's the ridge. Here's the other ridge over the Western Atlantic. And it's taking it towards this way. But now the models have changed. This is the um, current position as of 5 p.m. It is um, 62 uh, 26.2 north, 74.4 west. Maximum sustained winds are 40 are 150 miles per hour and as a cat four movement continues to slow now it's to the west at eight miles per hour and this will occur it'll continue to slow as um as the stern currents collapse as it nears the coast and the forecast after um sunday or monday becomes a little uncertain as it continues, the stern occurrence continue to relax as it might come very close or near the um, the uh, Florida coast. But then if you look here, it continues to go toward along the middle, the southeast coast. The next thing will be is the Carolinas where it'll be, everybody needs to watch this storm. The storm will bring heavy rains and strong winds to the region. And at this moment, the current forecast, tropical storm force winds could reach eastern Florida by Labor Day morning. Okay, I want to take a look now at the forecast tracks. This is the early cycle. This is... What model is this? Oh, this is the early cycle. See, most of it now, they're in good and current, um, good agreement, bringing it to the north and northeast. This is the GFS. This is the uh, European ensembles. So the general trend is towards this direction here, towards the north and northeast. We're going to take a look at the maps now. This is focusing on the southeast. This is the nav gym. We're going to take a look at that. And you see how it starts moving. This brings it to just offshore by 8 a.m. Monday. And then it has it going in to Florida just along the coast see that and then then we're going to look at the Canadian I think I just had the Canadian this is the Canadian model this is the nav gem a little further south and it remains offshore that's the Canadian 
and then we look at the European deterministics keeps it offshore and brings it up towards the north and then we look at the at the GFS Brings it towards the coast. So the only the only system that the only model that is bringing it inland is the um, Canadian near or along the east coast and the Nav Jim. They all keep it offshore except for the Canadian. Now, it's, um, it's a good idea not to focus on any one model or any one track. You see the cone of uncertainty? It's okay here until we get to... Well, the forecast track be begins to spread. Um, right off the bat, you can see, and then as it gets... To about um, Sunday or like I said early Monday then the forecast really starts to um, deviate and where it's gonna go either it goes keeps out the sea or comes right up along the coast we have to keep an eye on that okay elsewhere okay sorry about that the video got cut off I went a little over on the time that's allowed so I had to make two videos emerge and and merge them so if I repeat myself sorry about that this is for the period of September 11 to the 15th and we have still a ridge over the Western Atlantic the Caribbean and also over the Southwest Southern Plains and we have a zone of flow that remains across the northern US with the trough here that moves inland so the models are good agreement with this so for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures for much of this region here. And I'm forecasting anomalies of 4 degrees above normal. Below normal temperatures are forecast for the northern mid-Atlantic and the northeast. With anomalies near 2 degrees below normal. And for precipitation, calling for a little change in the overall precipitation anomalies from the previous period. And going back to... Dorian, here's the latest position as of 5 p.m. 26.2 north, 74.4 west. Maximum sustained winds are 150 miles per hour, and it's a cat 4. And moving is towards the west at uh, 8 miles per hour as it continues to slow. And don't forget, it's moving between the weaknesses of the two ridges. And I. Okay, that's it for now, and have a good day. I was going to say something else, but it's not important. Okay, that's it for now.